I grew up in the suburbs in Melbourne and I spent most of my time with my artwork. Of all the places that I've lived in Australia, my favourite would have to be here in Scone. Uh, it's where I feel most at home and it's where my family is. Scone is beautiful. The landscape, the beautiful green fields, but then also the way that it looks so rugged in the summer, it gets this beautiful dry look to it. The first step in the hat making process is steaming the felt, the shellac and stiffening agents in the base material soften and loosen when the hat is steamed. When it cools, it forms a really rigid structure that then forms our hat base. The time it takes to make a hat differs depending on the design, but generally is four to six hours. I think my favorite part of the hat making process is when it comes to the new owner putting it on their head. It's that light up in their smile. It's that exciting little look when they put it on and they realize that their outfit's complete. When it comes to inspiration for my designs, I actually draw from the Australian landscape. I think that we have such an amazing platform for creativity here in Australia. So every time I look outside, I just have to look at a paddock or a field or the ocean and I can draw any number of color combos and I just automatically am filled with inspiration. So when it came to learning how to make hats, I am actually self-taught. The way that I saw other people making hats out there didn't quite fit the way that I wanted a hat to look like. And so instead I came up with my own technique and that is what makes my hat so unique and special today. The best way to keep your hat looking brand new is to always rest it upside down if you're not wearing it or keep it in the box.